2013 Sport Nautique 200. Freshly available on consignment. Sitting in titanium gray with fury red hull bottom. We have a titanium flight control tower. Original graphics package with the wing and shield. Sits on a tandem axle Phoenix trailer color matched with the gray frame and fury red pinstriping. A very, very nicely optioned Sport 200. Um, boat is in great shape. Passed our full top to bottom inspection with flying colors and is ready for its new home. Up top, we also have a Z5 Bimini top, which has been powder coated into black on the frame, which looks amazing, and has a red canvas wrap installed on it. Storage up top for wakeboards. A set of rotating board racks on the tower on both sides there as well. And a pair of six by nine uh, tower speakers. So we walk around the outside of the boat. The gel coat is in awesome shape. You have a few light scuffs in this vinyl graphic, which is honestly to be, to be expected on a boat that's 10 plus years old. But nothing, uh, nothing hugely significant there. Aluminum wheels. Tires in excellent condition, lots of tread left. You're gonna find a few little scuffs here on the trailer. Um, you have the Nautique backlit logo there as well. As you come around the transom in the boat, you'll find a transom stereo remote has been optioned on here, and there is a pop-up tow point as well. Sea deck on the swim platform. There's a little wear to it. It's original. And you can kind of see it's kind of worn down, lost some of the texture to it. But no uh, real signs of any damage or anything like that. We do have a scuff and a small chip on this edge of the platform. Underneath does have the uh, manual hydro gate wake plate right here. Prop and rudder in excellent condition. And... Uh, couple of tie-down straps to go with the boat. The boat does come with some goodies, uh, which are packed in the boat. Uh, we'll take a peek at here in a second, uh, including a fresh sun pad for some reason. I'm not sure why, but uh, we have a spare sun pad in there. Um, some vinyl for a couple of the seats and some other goodies we'll take a look at. But a couple light scuffs here in the gel above the rub rail. Another one just down below the bilge drain. And another one further forward right here. Very light. Barely feel it with your finger if you run it across. Uh, I didn't mention, but we do have the Chrome Aeronautique graphics on, on here as well. And then our decal on the port side here is in excellent condition. So you can see does have pop-up cleats, does have the optional stereo uh, or Sirius satellite radio antenna. And the bow on both sides is looking really good. Uh, before we hop inside, we'll jump underneath the boat real fast. You're going to see, oh, we haven't repaired it yet. There's a small, I can even remember where it's at. Ah, here we go. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this on camera very well, but there is a chip here that somebody bondoed shut. We are going to seal it with a proper material. Um, very small, about smaller than the tip of my finger, but um, did want to patch that up so uh, the boat doesn't have any water intrusion into the fiberglass. So we'll be touching that up. I'll top inside check out this interior take my socks off here my shoes rather okay we do have a nice uh, c deck step pad leading us into the interior 
but all throughout we have our main vinyl in silver cloud which is kind of an off-white as you can see um, <laughs> we have the white gel with the silver cloud vinyl all original interior as it sits now and it's in excellent condition um, again there is a sun pad which I have been bubble wrapped back here I'm not sure why it, it needed it this one or actually both of these are in amazing shape no rips tears or anything if anything they just show maybe a little bit of wear from just the age like the vinyl just discolors ever so slightly um, same thing on this side everything looks really good if we open up our compartment here I mentioned some goodies I have um, the belt new piece of C deck for the center walkthrough some vinyl we have the full boat cover in here and uh, that'll lead us down into the engine compartment this does have a ballast system three tanks I don't recall the overall capacity on these, but uh, it's not a ton. It's maybe around a thousand pounds, but it's better than nothing. Um, and again, EX343, so a 5.7 liter engine. This one is fully serviced, fresh fluids, filters, and impeller. Um, and it's ready to go. The boat has, uh, don't quote me. I'm not gonna say the hours yet. I don't remember off the top of my head. We'll check on the screen in a second. Storage on both sides. Let's see hours real fast while I'm here. See, we have Link 2.0 screen on here, which is really nice. 467.6, so we'll call it 468, round it up a little bit. Um, vinyl across the back, excellent. Obviously, high traffic areas. You're going to see a small split starting right here, and a couple over on this port side corner this seat opens up and allows access down into your storage compartment in the back we flip open the rear seat there is also a step here seat deck pad so if you don't want people walking on the seat you can simply take this out and uh, you're gonna see a ski pylon hiding right here so the ski pylon if you want a true center mounted ski pylon it mounts on this insert here on the floor Obviously, we have a tower for surfing and wakeboarding, and if you want that true center toe feel uh, for skiing, then you can hook that up on, uh, on the center there. Uh, Sport 200 is very versatile. It's a great ski boat and uh, has great capability for surfing and wakeboarding. It's a fun boat all around. Coming in at 20 feet. Love seat. Flip that up. You're going to see an air dam stashed under here, but also... Bunch of storage space, Polk uh, amps mounted up on the left, and then a subwoofer, which you can see in our walkthrough in the center here. That's a 10 inch Polk sub. Not very commonly seen on these, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so it's kind of cool. This has the nice stereo upgrade, it has six interior speakers, the sub, and the two tower speakers on the, the roof here. Um, also has creature comforts. Boom, heaters. So there's a two outlet that removes down there and then the defroster vent up top. We have USB and auxiliary inputs here for your stereo. Um, Link 2.0 screen. Uh, I don't know if it has the map. It does have the map package. You can run the stereo through here. You have all your uh, rider presets pre-programmed in. Your lighting. And lastly, your ballast system you can fill and drain. So pretty handy, adjustable steering wheel, keypad ignition, nice Roswell mirror mounted up top. Our driver's seat is fully adjustable, it slides and rotates, and you also have the bolster down here if you want to sit up a little taller in the boat, which is great. In the bow, also has the optional bow filler cushion. Seating up here is in awesome shape. There's storage under the seats. And uh, might have a little bit of a light mildew stain here, but overall, everything looks really nice. Very well maintained boat. It's been well cared for, which is very obvious. Um, 
as you look at this boat in person. But pretty much wraps up on the Sport 200. Excellent shape, very nicely equipped, and is now available here at N3Boat Works. You can visit us on our website, n3boatworks.com. That's going to give you all the rundown and details um, on this boat and more photos. Or reach us at 317-845-9253. If you have any questions, give our team a call. Don't hesitate. Thanks for watching.